What's going on, Street Drip Drip Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. We got a super exciting day. As you can see, the sun is shining really nice, blessing us on this beautiful day. We got my boy Lewis here, and we got a really special video for you guys. He brought out his 21 G80, heavily modified. This thing is a beast. I'm talking, I've searched all over YouTube. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anybody do what he did. So y'all gonna know when I, when I show you. So without further ado, let's check out the whip here. Gonna give you a quick, ooh, yes, sir. Check that out. Super, super sick. Talking carbon fiber all over. Nothing skimped on, no games being played. Look at the wheels. Woo. So yeah, we're gonna go in, uh, go around, get a full detail on what all he did on this car. But I, before we started, I definitely wanted to give you guys a full walk around so you can get a full understanding. Put some respect on the man's name, man. He's not playing. If you guys are on G IG, check him out. That's the IG right there. Definitely uh, follow. Look at all the tips and tricks he's done on his whip. Damn. All right, so right here we got the man of the hour. Big money over here. So he's gonna go over, like I said, what all he did on the whip. This is Lewis, show some respect to the man. So um, start off with the wheels. Let's uh, let's head over there so we can talk about that because sure, so these have, wheels uh, are crazy. BC Forge wheels. Yeah, so champagne bronze um, on the barrel with the uh, gray face. Woo, check that out there. No games being played with the blue calipers as well. These are BC Forge wheels. And these are 20s? Yep. 20s and 20s on the back as well. Right. Let's take a look at the back, man. Look at the concave on this. Woo! Definitely my style. That is so crazy. Look at my hand on that, how deep it goes in. Nasty. All right, so first and foremost, we got to address this carbon madness. So as you guys can see, the huge lip here. So crazy. Look how far that comes out by R44. And uh, what else you got by R44 on here? All right, so my guys from R44 in London got me the lip, the intake uh, ducts, corner pieces, um, the uh, mirrors, spoiler in the back, side skirts here. All right, and these fenders, guys, let me tell you, these fenders, I've searched. When I told you I've searched, nobody has this. Nobody. If they do, let me know, because, damn it, I searched everywhere, I searched IG, I searched, ain't nobody got it, but your man, your boy right here, man, he held it down, he got this. This thing is looking crazy. Let's take a look at the different angles of it, too. Really, really good quality. This isn't your cheap, you know, Amazon purchase. This is the real deal right here. Looking super clean. And also, you got the uh, the side skirts as well, right? Yeah, those are the extender of the side skirts from R44 as well. Wow. And then also the... Uh, the, uh, Spoiler. Spoilers from R44. Woo! Take a look at that, guys. And then up here as well. Yep, that's all R44. Damn, matching the roof carbon fiber perfectly too. It goes so well over there. And you got the shark fin up top. Yeah. Nasty. All right, guys. So check out the diffuser. Really, really nice. This one's from Den Man. You said he's out in LA. He's out in LA. Yep. Nice man. And even the exhaust too, get some understanding. When you go carbon fiber, this is what you talk about. This is what you expect when you say carbon fiber. It's the whole kit and caboodle, ain't nothing being slept on here. Anything that's possibly carbon fiber, I'm pretty sure if he would've got the hood, I mean the trunk, carbon fiber, which isn't out yet, I'm pretty sure he's got an eye on it though. That's gonna be carbon fiber. So anything that's possible on this car, he will do that carbon fiber. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so check out these rear tail lights, man. This is super sick. It's kind of got like a smoky subtleness to it, but not too crazy. Doesn't look cheap. Highly, highly uh, good quality on this. And you said these are called the, what kind of tail lights? Those are GTS style tail lights. And where did you get these uh, tail lights from? Uh, these tail lights came from Euroclass. My boy Steve over at Euroclass, hit him up, he'll definitely take care of you. Woo, so you heard it. Shout out to Steve at Euroclass. Big modification. Really good quality, excellent touch. Let's uh, swing around front. So over here we got the uh, the Vorsteiner grill. I know a lot of the traditional BMW guys, you guys aren't a fan of this grill, but let me tell you something. 
when you see this in person, and not only when you do see it in person, but when you see it in carbon fiber, game over. You, you can't hate on it. There's nothing ugly about it at all. This thing looks phenomenal, really, really good quality, and it just adds that, that whole finesse to it. Brings everything, ties everything in together. And over here, you also got the uh, shadow line headlights with the laser as well. Look at that. I love that little blue touch there. My favorite color, if you guys didn't know. So, guys, we got to address the color. Obviously, this, that's what you guys have been seeing all around. You've been seeing popping in different lights and different hues and tints to it. So, we're going to go over this wrap because this is a phenomenal job. I've been around. I did not see one bubble, one little knife mark, little cut mark, none of that. This is a solid, solid quality wrap. If you didn't know no better, you would have thought this was a factory paint job. So, what color is this? Solar Flash? This is a Solar Flash from KPMF. And it was actually installed by uh, my boys over at Pro Scion. Very popular guy out in the Boston uh, area. Many of you probably know him. Um, best quality, best of the best. When I seen this thing, I was very impressed. I mean, it looks like a paint job. Gotta see it in person. Definitely, definitely. And if you could see, let me get a little closer so you can see how the sun hits it. And in every different angle, it just kind of gives you a nice little flavor, a little touch. I love how it makes these little indents look on the hood. It pops on there. Really, really nice. All right, guys, now we're gonna start to get inside, to get inside the meat of this thing. You guys see the stance and you're wondering what's going on here. So let's take a look. Woo! Check that out. Really, really, really nice quality. Got the airlift. And what system is this? So this is an airlift 3P management system. Um, the suspension itself, uh, the bags and whatnot, it's actually from Fly Air. So uh, my boy's over in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, he got the first one in, sold it to me, got it installed, took real good care of me. Even when I had issues while I was out in Orlando for a wow. show, he came out and took care of me. So, you know, hit up uh, Fly Air. Those guys are definitely... That's huge, guys. You hear that? That's crazy. That's what you call quality customer service. You don't really see that, uh, sorry to say, in this day and age and in the car industry, in the car game. But for them to do something like that, that's huge. That only show that they want to work with you, they trust their product, and there's quality in their product as well. They're not hiding anything. All right, guys. So heading into the inside, you could definitely notice what's different. What is it? It's carbon fiber. Yes, baby. But not only that, this is a 6.6 six steering wheel. It's not a uh, factory, but it definitely looks it. And check out the flat bottom steering wheel on there. Look how thick that is too. I love the blue stitching. Excellent quality touch because if you look on the wheels, it actually has the blue calipers as well. Matches it perfectly. And also you got the blue on the BMW. So everything little ties, ties in here, uh, ties together. And you also have the shifters. And you said, uh, where's the steering wheel from? That's also from R44 as well. R44 steering wheel. Really nice, guys. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Quality. All right, guys. So last but not least, let's take a look at the meat and potatoes. Woo! Did I say carbon? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's more of that in here. Damn, look at that. I like to super, refer super to sick. Myself as a carbon addict. Carbon addict, <laughs> carbon king. He's the Thanos of carbon. <laughs> super sick, man. Damn. Look at all the quality touches. We'll go over in detail, but uh, just to look at the, the caps here, look at the touch, the blue on there. You also got the blue as well, and you got the blue to finish it off. Even the screws, come on, man. Can't skimp on that. You got the blue, all little accent touches, really, really good quality detail. So let's get into the first piece of carbon that's right here. Uh, this one is one piece. Yeah, so this is the um, radiator cover. Um, it comes as a kit from Arma Speed. So Armor Speed did my intakes. Um, I have the covers as well here. Most of you will notice that these covers usually come all the way to the end. Well, I kind of uh, did a little customization of it myself. I really like the way these pipes look. So I actually just cut the uh, covers off and used that same rubber piece to kind of um, cover up those imperfections, just to kind of show off the pipes a little bit better. But this whole thing comes as a kit um, from Armor Speed. That looks really nice, guys. That just goes to show you as well, just because it's a brand new car, if you want quality, don't be afraid to modify a little stuff here and there. It's part of the game, it's part of the business. If you want it to look nice, you gotta be able to do uh, things like that, and it came out crazy. If he never told me, I would've never knew, and that just looks like straight like it came like that. I love 
love the engine cover check that out really really nice just the way it sits there perfect also these are real uh, carbon fiber as well just in case you're wondering all right with all that beautiful carbon fiber here you're probably wondering hey does this thing put out power of course it does come on man what kind of power are we talking um, it's gonna be somewhere between 600 to 650 it's uh, running on JB4 um, on pump we're looking somewhere closer to 600 with the E85 probably around 650 or so wow. based on what uh, JB4 uh, says that's nuts really really nice guys so this thing is definitely packing the power as well as the looks so now we're gonna go and look at the air ride going up going down just to kind of get an idea what that is so let's get into that Woo. there you have it guys so let's hear how this exhaust sounds get this baby purring we're gonna get you guys a startup and listen to this monster headphone users beware it has the valve controller too so this one's got the valve r44 exhaust system with the catalyst downpipe yep. and that's what you guys are about to hear right now so we're gonna let this uh settle for a little bit so we can get the full noise for you guys and you can hear our sound so let's get to it worth it that sounds nuts you got to be here to, to hear it it just sounds believe me it sounds crazy that hurt my ear real quick probably need a couple minutes to recover but uh <laughs> yeah that sounds crazy let me know what you guys think <laughs> nuts Three different flavors. So this is the uh, the normal mode. So that's quiet mode. Still loud. That's valve open, and this is all valves open. Well, there you have it guys damn it was crazy i told you we got a banger for you this thing is nuts let me know what you guys think let me know all the mods which one was your favorite are you loving the color 
Definitely, definitely. You you can't you can't front on this. Don't hate. I know you're probably gonna comment and hate, but don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. But yeah, I'd like to thank Lewis. Oh, over here <laughs> for uh, taking his time out, showing me the whip. Appreciate the love. Let me do a video on this. He didn't have to do it, but he took his time out of his busy day. Definitely, definitely appreciate that. Doesn't go uh, unseen. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, help your boy grow. Comment below. We'll see you on the next one. Street Drip. We're out of here.